guys, Francis. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video is going to be... Uh, today is my birthday and time is going to be the 22 things that I learned in my 22 years. Okay, so I sorted everything out in my laptop because I don't want to forget the same thing as in the 22 facts. I don't want to forget anything. And yeah, so let's start. Number one, there are seasonal friends and there are forever friends. So what I'm trying to say are, is that people come and go in your life. There are people who comes to your life for a reason. Um, some are for a lesson and some are meant to stay forever. So number two, true friendship stands the test of time and distance. So most of my friends, most of my high school friends, my barcadas are still in the Philippines. So only two of us here, only two of us are here in Canada. So we rarely see each other like we rarely see each other we only see each other like every what every two to three years and however even though we don't see each other that often we never get lost in touch we always um keep up to date with each other like we never but that doesn't mean that we have to text we have to do facetime 24 7 or every single day no Especially nowadays that we, you know, we have our own priorities. Some has already family, some has kids, and some has their work and studies. So, we have our priorities and we do understand that. We just always keep in mind that whenever we need someone to talk to, um, we can always run to each other, like message each other. And um, We're all mature enough to understand that we have priorities, we have our own priorities, we have like important things to manage and... That's normal. That's normal. So. Okay, number three. Number three is the important one. Budget your income. So as you all know, I work part-time at Tim's for over two years now while I am still studying. And I'm not gonna lie, I also had a hard time with budgeting my income. Especially during the first few months that I work or let's just say first year that I work. Um, I was so happy that I got this amount of money and then I was splurging it into you know to things that I want to buy to the things that I like to buy and yeah I just keep you know treating myself all the time I'm not gonna lie I learned the hard way I'm not gonna lie I was also having hard time budgeting my in own income to the point that I over exceed my limits and yeah I'm gonna admit that I learn it the hard way anyhow i learned the hard way and i learned to save a portion for myself a portion for my mom and a portion for my savings so those three things that i always keep in mind so in that way i won't you know i won't feel bad treating myself because i know that i gave something because i know that i saved something for my savings and i say and i gave something for my mom every month i do that it's not bad to treat yourself you just have to learn to limit you just have to keep in mind your limitations number four spend time with your loved ones and don't take them for granted um it's only four of us here in canada but even though we're only it's only four of us here we rarely have dinner together because some of us are tired we choose sleep over dinner and some of us have work at night and some of us like you know are are busy but whenever we get a chance you know it's our all our day offs so we um we make sure that we spend together we spend time together we have dinner together we have we go out together we hang out together things like that make sure you spend time with them and don't take them for granted number five be mindful with whom you share your stories with because not everyone is a listener and not everyone is a listener not everyone whom you share your stories with will listen to you some yes they will but then they're gonna spread those stories to other people and add some contents to it which doesn't make sense and it sucks because you trust the person and then they share your stories even though you didn't give them permission to, sh to do it like i mean i told you the stories because I, I trust you but then you share it to others like as if i mean nothing to you um where's the respect in there and it doesn't give it doesn't mean that i give you the right to share that stories to others because you don't have you don't have the right to do that just know your circle though know your circle because 
not everyone who asks what happened to you, not everyone who asks what happened to your life, are concerned people. Some just wanna ask because they wanna make chica or chismis about it. Um, so just be mindful about it and know whom you should trust. So number six. Number six is, it's okay not to be okay. Um, I know this is cliche, but it is cliche for a reason. It's okay because it's okay not to be okay because none of us are perfect. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel the pain. It's okay to get hurt, and it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel the pain and yeah, just feel the pain because yeah, feel the pain until it hurts no more. It's okay to feel sad because not every single day of your life is just pure happy days. There's also sad days and it's okay to feel that way. Number seven, forgiving sets you free. Forgiving sets you free. I'm a type of person who never forgets what you've done for me, especially if it's something that something that hurts me the most. It's, it could be either verbal or nonverbal, and but it doesn't mean that I won't forgive the person. I do forgive, I don't even, I forgive even, even if you don't ask for it. Why? Because that's a favor for myself. I give a favor for myself to have a peace of mind. Um, so do yourself a favor and forgive too. That will help and something that's good for your mental health too. Number eight. Number eight is appreciate little things. Appreciate little things. It could be, it could be effort or non-pricey things. Appreciate. Number nine. Love yourself. I know it's easy to say this. Everyone say this to their, to themselves that no, love yourself first, love yourself first. It's easy to say, but it's always take courage. It always takes guts to do this. It always takes courage to do it. Sometimes we just get lost and have a hard time to come back to our feet. But one thing that I learned all these years is that to learn to love yourself first before you let other people in into your life. Just love yourself and this way you will never be lost again. So number 10. Okay, I'm doing this again and di ko alam na ganito pala kahira pa. Number 10. Prioritize your happiness. This one, I've also learned this just recently that other people's opinion doesn't matter. You have to prioritize what makes you happy. Because it's your happiness, it's not theirs. So theirs shouldn't matter it's your happiness should matter so number 11 wala na tan lang yung fingers ko so number 11 be the bigger person be the bigger person which means na so if someone say say bad things to you ano na lang say bad things to you be the bigger person na wag mong patulan wag mong patulan kasi kapag pinatulan mo parang ganun ka na din katulad ka na din yan so be the bigger person, be matured enough. So be the bigger person, know what you should and what you shouldn't do. Yun. Yeah, be the bigger person, know what you should and what you shouldn't do. Okay, number 12. Go for someone who's not only good for your heart, but also to your mental health, your whole well-being. Yung taong magbibigay sa'yo ng peace of mind, yung taong hindi, yung taong hindi ka bibigyan ng doubts, yung taong hindi ka, yung, yung parang comfortable ka talaga na alam mo hindi siya magloloko. Someone who's good for your soul. Yeah. Go for someone who's good for your soul. Yeah. Number 13. Invest in friendship that motivates and support you. Surround yourself with people, people who will help you to get where you want to be in life. Okay, number 14. Do your thing. What I'm trying to say is do what you have to do. Don't let other people's opinions change your plans. Their opinion is their opinion, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. So, do your thing. It's the same thing as do what makes you happy. Kasi, at the end, ikaw naman yung mga ka-benefit nun eh. Kapag sinunod mo yung gusto nila, magiging masaya ka ba? Yun yung tanong. Kung sinunod mo yung gusto nila, magiging masaya ka ba? Don't let other people's opinion change your plans. Number 15. Be grateful. Be grateful sa lahat ng mga bagay na natanggap mo, sa blessings, at sa struggles na na-experience mo. Kasi without those, especially sa mga experiences na masasamang experiences, like 
hardships in life, be, still be thankful. Kasi kung hindi mo yun na-experience, wala ka ngayon kung saan ka ngayon. Kasi kung hindi mo yun na-experience, di ka matututo, wala kang matututunan. 16. Do what you love. It's the same thing as what I said in Do Your Thing. Do what you love. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy. Because in the end of the day, buhay mo yan eh. So, yeah. Just keep doing what you love. Number 17. Number 17. Stop caring what other people think. Kasi you have to prioritize your mental health, your inner peace. Do yourself a favor to give yourself a peace of mind. So yun, stop caring on what other people think. Number 18, not everyone your friend is a friend. Kaya nang sabi ko, know your circle. Kasi hindi lahat ng sinasabi mong kaibigan mo, e eh kaibigan mo. Not everyone your friend is a friend. So just make sure that you know your circle, you know whom you trust, and you know, just make sure you're aware of everything. Number 19, be kind. Palaya ko tong sinasabi sa outro ko, sa, sa vlogs ko, that be well, be kind. Especially nowadays with this pandemic and all the negativity in the world, all sort of crimes, racism, inequality, silver linings, show kindness to one another. It's very important to show kindness to one another because you don't know how much, how that kindness will affect, will change of someone's day. It's, it's free. It's free to show kindness. It doesn't cost you anything. So, show kindness to one another because you don't know how much it changes someone's day. Especially nowadays na chaos. So, just show kindness to one another. So like, what I, so, like what I always said, be well, be kind. Number 20. 20? 20? 20 Number 20, how other people judge us is none of our business. We can't please everyone anyway. Natutunan ko to recently lang din na hindi lahat ng tao mapiplease natin and it's okay kasi hindi naman yun necessary na kailangan natin silang i-please para lang magustuhan nila tayo. We don't need to please anyone to accept who we are because those people na tanggap ka, hindi mo na sila kailangan talagang i-please. Okay, so what other people think about me, so what other people say or think about me is not a reflection of me, but a reflection of themselves. Their values, their character, their insecurities, and standards. And it has nothing, not even a little thing to do with me. Number 21, be you. Number 21 is be you. Don't pretend. Just be yourself because the right person will accept you for who you are. And last thing is 22. Um, I don't know. I still have a lot of things to experience. I still have a lot of things to experience, a lot of things to learn. But the best is yet to come. So 22 is just another year for me, another year for growth, another year for learning. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. See you guys in my next journey and I love you all. Bye-bye. Thank you.